I'm uh, Barend van Huisden. I uh, hold the Chair of Culture and Cognition in the Department of uh, Arts, Culture and Media Studies in the Faculty of Arts. And I'm at the same time uh, Academic Director and Head of the Department uh, for the Humanities at University College. If you want to become a full-fledged linguist, or you are really very interested to uh, devote all your time uh, to, for example, medieval studies, then you definitely should not go to a university college. I mean, the student for whom the program which we offer in the humanities department of the university college is interesting, is a student who maybe, and that might be a little bit exaggerated, but maybe really does not yet know exactly what he or she wants, but has a kind of intuition or feeling about the direction or the interest which he or she would like to go in. And that direction would be something like uh, sense-making, meaning-making. How do we give meaning to the world? How do we give meaning to our lives? How have people given meaning? And in what different ways can you give meaning or make sense about what's going on? And this interest in sense-making, I think, which is in the end the basis of all culture, because the way in which we make meaning in the end determines how we act and what we do, that kind of general interest in history, in the arts, in the media, also in questions about which relate to politics and ethics, that is the kind of student, I think, for whom the university college curriculum, especially the humanities curriculum, is very well suited. We designed the humanities modules in such a way that they are also interesting for students who have chosen a different major and would want to do humanities as an elective. Let me give you an example. We have one module in the second year which is called Stories that Shape the World. Now, at first sight, maybe you would say stories that shape the world. What's in it for me if you would study life and uh, health sciences or uh, physics or chemistry. But what we want to point out, and that's exactly also the topic of this course, is that wherever you go and wherever people work together, stories are involved. People tell stories about themselves, about their work, about the society in general. And what we do in this course is analyze not only how stories are built, but also how they influence the way we look at society the way we look at our work, the way also we value things we do. So in that sense, this module, Stories That Shape the World, is definitely, let's say, a humanities module, but it is also, and that's exactly what we want to teach in a liberal arts and sciences uh, college, how the humanities perspective is not just restricted to humanities topics, but is in fact a perspective which is pervasive everywhere. We always give meaning, we always make sense of the world. And one of the ways in which we do this is through stories, which is why I think a module about how stories shape the world is absolutely interesting for people who are working in very different, also non-humanities disciplines. Journalism is one of the master profiles for which the humanities curriculum prepares you. And I think it's particularly suited if you are interested in journalism, because the university college as, a, as such offers a very broad range of courses. And you can combine, of course, humanities courses, which are uh, suitable, suited to the uh, journalism program, like uh, history or uh, media studies, but you can also add to that courses from other curricula, so as to become a kind of broader interested uh, journalist. 